Hello Pinto lovers, and particularly those that run a twin choke. In this video, we're gonna show you how I got eight horsepower for free with no downsides, no money expenditure, no internal parts upgrades. For this test, we started out with a fairly mild two litre Pinto with a mild compression increase, very, very light bit of port work to the cylinder head, but very light. Ashley Free Branch, small bore, borrowed a short circuit oval F2 cam, put it on a dyno, with a 3236, not the bike carbs on this. That's coming in another video. And we ran it up. As standard, we produced 135 brake horsepower and 130 pound foot torque. Having established our baseline, the first step was to remove the intake manifold and match it to the cinder head. And I've tried this modification on a flow bench and it, so, it showed zero improvement, but you never know, it might work on an engine. And to be fair, after I'd matched the pulps and enlarged them for the first inch or so up the manifold, we gained one and a half brake horsepower. Win-win, smiles all round. Next up, I ported the inlet manifold at the base of the carburetor. Opened it out widthwise, tried to take the roof up to improve the airflow. Back on the dyno we found another 1.4 horsepower. Next up, taking my inspiration from a lot of the dyno guys in America who love playing with carb spacers, machined up an inch spacer to go underneath the carb. I also made a matching one to lift up the throttle linkage. That spacer picked us up initially nothing. And the reason being the, air, the AR file went really lean. After a quick reject, we did have a power gain. We picked up three and a half horsepower. Why did that spacer work so well? It's probably a combination of things. If a carb is a little on the small side and restrictive, the spacer gives a bigger plenum volume, which makes the carb appear bigger. And it also allows the air a longer distance to transition and got the pulse. Following the spacers, we tried one more. This time I made up an inch spacer to go between the inlet manifold and head. Spacer between the inlet manifold and the head netted us another two and a half horsepower. And when we look back at all the dyno results, the data added together, we picked up eight horsepower in total. So now we need to go to a graph of the before and after which clearly shows the difference how's that yeah at the beginning i said it was free but to me it was free the metal came out of a scrap bin and it didn't cost me anything to machine it but with time and patience and a black and decker drill and a hacksaw you could do this yourself at home so it really is free horsepower we gained eight horsepower and torque throughout the rev range there was no downside we went from 135 horsepower to 143 and we picked up another two and a half pound foot torque in terms of peak numbers, we're tantalizingly close to what a pair of 40 DCOEs gave on the same engine. And that's got to be a result. So if you like this video, you like the result, you want to see more, you know what to do, guys. Like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. Catch you on the flip side.